how are you grade 9 I hope you be uh, safe and fine today we are going to complete our revision sheet uh, part 4 uh, please open with me your revision sheet here uh, last time we finished the uh, number 30 today we're going to complete uh, from 31 uh, here uh, he's giving you a question a tree is standing next to a 40 foot high building okay the tree has an 18 foot shadow which the building has a 16 foot shadow how tall is the tree okay to the nearest foot uh, how to solve this first because the sun's ray are parallel so we have that measure of angle J equal measure of angle C okay okay very good therefore the triangle here is similar to this triangle okay this triangle is similar to this triangle okay this is the building and this is the tree okay now why why they are similar because we have uh, angle angle similarity where is the angle I have right angle here and right angle here and we said that hmm, angle J equal angle C okay very good now we're going to uh, we want to get the height we want to get the height this height so let's write the uh, similarity ratios let's write the similarity ratios a b a b okay a b over a c equal what if this is a b huh what's corresponding to the other side it's g h so a b it's corresponding is g h if a b over a c equal g h over g j okay very good and I have AB is 40 and AC is 16 and GH uh, G, uh, uh, GJ is uh, 18 so I'm going to do what huh? remember with me what I'm going to do we're going to make cross multiplication or cross product okay I'm going to do cross product how to get GH G, uh, GH 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 will be 40 times 18 divide I'm going to take this 16 to the other side with divide remember very good so my uh, GH will be 45 so the height height here this is the height will be 45 45 which is a okay very good grade 9 let's see here number 32 a model airplane is built to a scale of I have here a scale of 1 to 12 so my scale here is my ratio I'm going to use this ratio proportional ratio okay 1 inch to 12 feet the model plane is 11 inch long the model is 11 inch long so it's 1 huh 1 over 12 equal 11 11 over the length that I want the actual length again here 1 to 12 1 is for the model and 12 is for the real here 11 is for the what for the model so 1 over 12 equal 11 because 1 here for model so 11 here for model for the same for corresponding okay so if this model I must write the number of the model here so 11, 1 over 12 equal 11 over I don't know the actual uh, length of the plane which is X then I'm going to make what cross multiplication cross multiplication 12 times 11 over 1 okay so it will be 132 132 which is B okay which is B okay grade uh, 10 let's complete here we have given that the two triangles here are similar okay find the perimeter and area remember the perimeter and area from the last video what we said if I have two similar triangles so I must get the similarity ratio and the similarity ratio equals the uh, perimeter ratio and what about the area ratio the area ratio is similarity ratio power 2 remember 
similarity ratio power two very good let's see here hmm how to get it first i must get the similarity ratio huh how to get it hmm kj oh kj is 18 uh, what is corresponding ba which is 12 so 18 over 12 this is my similarity ratio very good let's simplify it 18 over 12 simplified you will get 3 over 2 very good and huh, the parameters huh what is the, the ratio of the parameters hmm it's 3 over 2 very good so and I have the perimeter of the smaller one so here hmm, 3 over 2 equal the perimeter of the second one which is I don't know and the perimeter of the first one which is 28 okay let's get cross multiplication here hmm. so b equal 28 times 3 divide 2 2 will go to the other side with divide very good so the perimeter will be 42 okay by cross product very good what about the area hmm. what we said about the area I'm going to take hmm the ratio the similarity ratio and power it by 2 huh 3 power 2 is 9 2 power 2 is 4 then hmm, a over 18 here he give you that the area is 18 so a a which i don't know of the of the bigger uh, triangle here over 18 equal huh 9 over 4 and make also a cross product or cross multiplication to get a okay very good so it's 18 times 9 divide 4 divide 4 very good so it's 40.5 40.5 which is uh, which answer 40.5 uh, uh, area is 40.5 and the perimeter 42 which is a don't get confused huh okay very nice Let's complete. We're, get, we're having here a figure, okay, which has a dilation with a scale 2 over 3. Huh. How to make a dilation? Hmm. First, I must get the uh, uh, every point, huh? every point, its coordinate. What is the coordinate of the B? Hmm. Uh, well, let's start with A. What's the coordinate of the A? It's 0 and 0. Very good. It's 0 and zero what's the coordinate of the b hmm. its x is zero and its y is what huh? one two three its y is its y is three very good what about the d the d its x is huh two very good and its y is zero because it's on the a on the uh, horizontal line what about the c hmm the c is two two and uh, three two and three very good now i get all the coordinates of the all points here he's telling me that the scale factor is two over three two over three now how to make it Hmm. I will times all my coordinates or my coordinates that I get here okay by 2 over 3 to get the image okay so if 0 and 0 we said a is 0 and 0 multiply it by 2 over 3 it will be 0 and 0 hmm. b is 0 and 3 so it will be what 0 and 2 huh? c is uh, 2 and 3 times uh, put the coordinate by 2 over 3 and d times put the coordinate by 2 over 3 okay so i'm going to multiply all of them by 2 over 3 so my answer will be what mm. my answer will be mm, number b very good b okay and of course it must be smaller because huh? because what my scale factor is smaller than one my scale factor is smaller than one so the image must be smaller than the origin one 
ها uh, the original one okay the image must be smaller than the original one excellent excellent grade 10 let's see 35 i have here uh, k o n k o n which is the small one here and l o m which is the big one here uh, they are similar find the coordinate of l <clears throat> and the scale factor first i'm going to get the similarity ratio hmm yalla let's tell me what, what how to get the similarity ratio hmm m o over n o very good equal what to the other side l o over k o so i'm going to get the l o by by cross product so l o equal 36 divide 4 which is 9 so the l is what 9 here huh? it's 9 and 0 it's 9 and 0 very good type x here was 3 and 0 and l now is 9 and 0 what happened to 3 and 0 to became 9 and 0 of course I multiply it I multiply it with multiply it with 3 so this is my scale factor okay very good so my scale factor is 3 okay and my point is what is 9 so my answer is B okay my answer is B very good my point is 9 and 0 and my scale factor is 3 so it's B excellent grade 10 let's see here find the geometric mean of the pair of the numbers huh how to get the geometric mean do you remember huh I'm, I'm going to multiply them and get their square root remember multiply and get the square root to get the geometric mean again multiply and get square root multiply to get x power 2 equal 2 times 6 which is 16 then get the square root of the x power 2 huh? get square root of x power 2 it will be x and square root of 16 it will be hmm, 4 so x is 4 x is the geometric mean this is d excellent very good let's take this one find the geometric mean of the pair of the numbers huh? how to do it we're going to multiply them very good 4 times 25 which is 100 then get what the square root excellent get the square root of 100 and the square root of x power 2 so x equals 10 which is b excellent grade 9 and uh, grade 10 uh, grade 10 take care that you have uh, assignment and homework uh, it's uploaded in the sunrise international school website uh, try to solve it with my best wishes thank you very much i was with you mr anda wahid see you later